In this video, we're taking a look at iOS 26 on the oldest iPhone that supports it, being the iPhone 11. So we're gonna step through some of the biggest changes and features in iOS 26, all while we get a sense for how much of the full iOS 26 experience you actually get on the six year old iPhone 11. So without question, the new liquid glass design is the biggest change in iOS 26. With the optical qualities of glass being brought to notifications and the control buttons on the lock screen, application tabs, toolbars, buttons, pop-ups, and so much more. There's even a new clear home screen option that heavily leads into the transparent glass aesthetic for all your home screen app icons and widgets. Navigation elements within applications have also underwent massive structural changes, now featuring floating circular controls that create a cleaner and less obtrusive interface in comparison to iOS 18 and earlier's larger and more fixed-in-place controls. And these controls themselves have the properties of liquid glass, with the UI elements dynamically adapting to the context of what's behind them and refracting light from that source. I was very happy to see that the full unwatered down version of liquid glass is fully available on the iPhone 11 here, which I was pleasantly surprised by, especially considering that liquid glass is a pretty ambitious design that has dynamic visual properties like light refraction and text that changes contextually based on what's behind it. In years past, with previous iOS updates like this that have brought about major changes, Apple hasn't always delivered the full experience to their older devices. But this year, they didn't hold anything back, with the full liquid glass redesign on the iPhone 11 working perfectly. And guys, as someone who frequently works when on the go, whether it be in a local coffee shop or diner, or even when traveling, keeping all my devices charged up is a must. And that's where today's sponsor, Basis, comes in, with their Enercore retractable chargers. Their G R11 20,000 mAh power bank features a built-in retractable USB-C cable plus two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. It features 145 watt fast laptop grade charging speeds that in just 30 minutes can charge an iPhone 16 Pro Max to 56% and a MacBook Pro 16 inch to 43%. You can also charge four devices simultaneously, making it the perfect device to bring along on trips. Its built-in display shows the remaining battery percentage, the amount of time until it's empty, and more. Proprietary stacking tech makes this power bank extremely small and lightweight, especially compared to typical 20,000 mAh power banks. And if you travel internationally, the CG11 70 watt universal travel adapter is a must have. Its all in one design includes four different plug types, allowing you to charge your devices across 200 plus countries, it being especially ideal for major regions like the US, UK, EU, and Australia. In addition to its built-in braided retractable USB-C cable, it has two USB-A ports and a USB-C port with support for smart power distribution for multi-device charging, allowing you to charge six devices simultaneously. So guys, if you're looking to keep all your devices charged up when on the go, click on the link in the video description down below to check out the Basis Enercore retractable chargers. And big thanks to Basis for sponsoring this video. So new animations are also something that you're going to notice throughout iOS 26, things being more springy and lively. You'll notice this when swiping from the lock screen to the home screen and when navigating through applications. Notice how the new liquid glass floating UI elements appear, transform, separate, and consolidate as you navigate between different areas of the system. And as you're seeing, all of this is fully available here on the iPhone 11, not limited or watered down at all, which is pretty impressive for a six-year-old device on the latest iOS. The same thing goes for the new redesigned camera application, which is one of the bigger changes in iOS 26, it featuring a much cleaner UI that hides a lot of the secondary options and controls by default, but has them accessible with swipe gestures. This page of secondary camera controls is one of the places where the properties of the new liquid glass design really show through, again, working perfectly on the iPhone 11 here. The Messages app also got some big updates in iOS 26. You're now able to set custom backgrounds for your different conversations that'll show 
show for both you and whoever is in the conversation. And once again, I'm happy to say that custom message backgrounds are fully supported on the iPhone 11, whether you use one of Apple's default backgrounds or a photo of your choice. Now, it is worth noting, since Apple Intelligence, which is Apple's set of AI features they've been rolling out throughout the last year, only support the iPhone 15 Pro and newer, you don't get the option to AI generate message backgrounds with a prompt on any iPhone older than the 15 Pro, which is a feature available on the 15 Pro and newer on iOS 26. But this is a limitation that's far from exclusive to the iPhone 11, as again, every iPhone older than the 15 Pro doesn't support any Apple Intelligence features. Group chats in the Messages app got some great updates, such as the ability to conduct polls, and my favorite of all, you now get typing indicators for group chats, letting you know who's about to chime in. Once again, all these features are fully present on the iPhone 11 here. So as I briefly mentioned, since the whole Apple Intelligence suite of features is only available on some of the very newest devices, being the 15 Pro and newer, Apple's new live translation features in iOS 26 are unfortunately not available on any iPhone prior to the 15 Pro. The same thing goes for the new visual intelligence on-screen search features and all other Apple Intelligence features. But again, this is a limitation on every iPhone prior to the 15 Pro, not just the iPhone 11. The only non-Apple Intelligence related new iOS 26 feature not coming to the iPhone 11 specifically is the new 3D wallpaper and photo spatial scenes effect that lets you add this neat 3D effect to a photo as your wallpaper or just to a photo in the Photos app that responds to the accelerometer when you tilt your iPhone. This is unfortunately exclusive to the iPhone 12 and newer. But other than that, the iPhone 11 gets the full iOS 26 experience with the new liquid glass design and the new features that come along with it. The longevity of recent iPhones is undeniably impressive. Taking a look at Apple's recent track record for the amount of years they support iPhones with major iOS updates for, you can see Apple has supported the past four discontinued iPhone generations for either seven or six years of major iOS updates. And the iPhone 11 here and the 11 Pro are going into their seventh major iOS version with iOS 26, making them currently tied with the 6S and SE1 and the 10R and 10S series as one of the longest supported iPhone generations. So given these recent trends, iOS 26 will likely be the final major iOS version the iPhone 11 will get. If the iPhone 11 gets another year of major iOS update support next year with iOS 27, that would make it the longest supported iPhone of all time at eight years of major iOS update support. Hopefully it'll get iOS 27, but again, given Apple's recent track record, I certainly wouldn't count on it. What impresses me the most about iOS 26 on the iPhone 11 is that it's the full experience of liquid glass, not a watered down version as you might expect with a big design change like this. As always, the only real issue most people will have nowadays with using an older iPhone like this will be battery performance, as just due to the chemical nature of lithium ion batteries, they degrade over time. And if you've been using your iPhone for several years, the battery performance is very likely noticeably worse than it was when your iPhone was new. No matter how future-proof Apple makes their silicon, their cameras, their displays, and even to some degree their power management, lithium-ion batteries, as far as I know, will always eventually degrade far faster than any other component in a smartphone. And even though you can always do a battery replacement, most consumers choose to just get a new iPhone when their battery health starts to tank, as investing probably around $80 to $100 in a product that's probably at least half a decade old, understandably, probably isn't something most people want to do. But as the longevity of iPhones continues to get better as time goes on, and as smartphones in general as a category are getting more and more mature, it begs the question, other than battery degradation, what incentivizes you to upgrade your iPhone nowadays? When longevity and software update support are as rock solid as they are on modern iPhones. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts, so let me know down below in the comments. And guys, that just about wraps it up for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.